by this time in our project, we're almost done. Over here, I've got a PDF document of a final version. And the only thing that we have missing is a photo of a light bulb. If we take a look at the document that we currently have in Pages, just click on Pages so it comes to the foreground, you're going to see that we still have the original photo that came with the template. Now, replacing a photo from a template is very simple. You see at the bottom, it has this little icon that when you click on it, it allows you to browse through your media library. And the media library is pretty much anything that you have in the photos, music, and movies folders on your account. So you could potentially add a video or an audio file to your document. Now, in my case, I am not going to do that. I'm going to add a photo because it's going to be a printed document, so there will be no video or no sound. Let me scroll down. And unfortunately, I don't have a good photo here. Actually, I don't have any light bulb photo to be used for this project on my Mac. But what I'm thinking of doing is take advantage of the camera on my iPad and take a photo of a light bulb that I have on my desk and use that as a photo that is going to go in my project. Now, for the time being, let me just show you quickly how you can replace an image from the one that was in the template. Clicking on the button will allow you to browse. And simply by selecting a photo from your library, we'll just replace the image. And that's it. And to tell you the truth, it's very much the same way on an iOS device. Now, let me undo that so that we can go back to the original and we can see what it looks like on the iPad. So let me switch over to the device. And you're going to notice that the icon is a little bit different. It's just a little plus icon on the right-hand corner of the photo from the template. So I'm going to tap on the photo. And as you can see, you just get a pop-up menu at the top. But if you tap on the plus button at the bottom, it will allow you to navigate through your camera roll as well as your photo stream. And if you have any other photo album in here, you will be able to navigate through those. Now, in my case, I do have a few photos here, but they're not the best ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a new photo. And this is a feature that I was hoping to be available, but it's not available. I was hoping to be able to just tap on a camera from within pages to enable it and go and snap a photo with the camera. But unfortunately, I can't do that. So what we need to do here is get out from pages. I'm going to go into the camera. And here we go. I've got a light bulb on my desk. And one thing that I'm looking for when I take this photo, it's not only that it's in focus, but I'm looking for a solid background. So that's why it's on top of a white solid plate so that I can remove the background. You're going to see this later. It's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to snap a photo. And now I'm going to go back to pages. And if I take a look at my camera roll, here's a photo that I just taken. And it's as simple as that. You just select the photo and you can just replace it. Once you add a photo, if you want to replace it with something else, you have to go into the paintbrush button under image. There's a button that says replace, and that would allow you to navigate again through your camera roll. So let me go and select this other photo, which has a much different orientation. This one I like better because you can see the brand of the light bulb. And of course, as you would expect, you can also import images to iCloud. So let me tap on the Documents button so it updates on iCloud. And I'm going to switch over to my PC. And I'm going to open up the document that we have been working on. Hopefully it already updated. Let's just scroll down and see. There we go. It did update. Here's the latest photo that I've updated. Anyway, if you wanted to add a new photo, you can click on the button that says Image in the toolbar at the top. And you can either drag and drop an image from your desktop on your computer to the browser or choose the image button, which would allow you to navigate. And I've already navigated to where I've got my flags from the iChat icons. And let me just grab the Canadian flag and open it. Now, this is very cool. If you pay attention, this particular image that I brought in has this transparency around the round edges of the Canadian flag. So the text actually wraps around based on that transparency. You can see here on the right. Another thing that you're noticing is that this thing is live right on the web browser. And in this particular case, on Chrome on Windows. So regardless if the image comes from a Mac, from an iOS, or from iCloud, it behaves almost the same way. It doesn't behave completely the same way. You don't have the same features, but they're fairly comparable. We're going to talk about this transparency and how to work with this transparency a little bit later. 
for now, I'm going to delete this image. Just going to right click on it and choose the delete option. And just to make sure that everything gets updated on the iCloud server, I'm just going to close the document from iCloud.